you in worship this morning. Exalt his holy name. Magnify him. Adore him. Yes, Lord, you are God. We exalt you, Lord. We magnify your holy name. Hey, hallelujah. As far as we can see, so far we can find that word in the scripture. It is already done. It is now left to our own faith to lay hold on it. This morning, and I would still like choir to join me, but you can go to your seat, but you can see from wherever you are. Uh, Pastor Tayo posted a, a video of his song by Sister Winner two days ago and he said it has been his mind all night and he woke up with the song in his mind that we should meditate on it. And God put that song in my mind as well all night today and I decided I would sing it before I start praying. But I'm singing the latter part. It says, you said it. I believe it. You said it. It is done. You said it. I believe it. You said it. It is done. So I want us to sing this song and meditate on it. Don't just sing it. It is meant to meditate on it. It goes. Yes, Lord. You said it, I believe. You said it, it is done. Can you help me say? You said I believe it, I believe it. You said it, you said it. thanksgiving thank the lord for his word that word that you lay hold on thank god for it that word that promise that the lord has given you thank god for it and most importantly thank him for his faithfulness but because he will fulfill what he has said in the name of jesus father we are grateful for your word we are grateful for your promises you are a covenant-keeping God.
the scripture says you keep covenant with thousand generations. You never fail, you never falter. You are faithful to the end. We exalt you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. In Jesus' marvelous name, we have prayed. Two prayer points I have. Quickly, I want us to read two scriptures. First, from Genesis chapter 8, verse 1. Talking about Noah and the animals that were with him in the ark. They've been in that ark for 150 days. And they were looking forward to when are we going to see the green grass, the mountain top, the nature. It's like they were in, more or less restricted in that ark. They could only go, I don't know the length of the ark, that far. But Bible says in that chapter 8 of Genesis... Verse 1, it says, and God remembered Noah. God remembered Noah. The other scripture I want to emphasize here is Genesis 30, 32, uh, 22. The story of Rachel. The Bible says, Rachel, the mother of Isaac, uh, the wife of Isaac, waiting on the Lord for a uh, fruit of the womb. And in verse 22, the scripture mentioned and said, God remembered Rachel. And God acting to her and open her womb. The same thing happened to Anna. I want us to pray this morning. Lord, remember me this day. And perform your word, your promises in my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, remember me. Lift up your voice and cry to the Lord. Father, remember me this day. And perform your word. Fulfill your promises. Long waiting promises. Father, today let it be the day. And remember me. When that scripture says God remember them. It means God answered their prayer. It means God fulfilled their, the, his promises to them that day. Lord, I wait upon your word and I lay hold on it. Father, in the name of Jesus, fulfill your promise this day. Let this day be the day you Come to remembrance of me and answer me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Lastly, we we'll open a scripture to 1 John 5, 14 to 15. 1 John chapter 5, 14 to 15. It says, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask of anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desired of him. I want us to pray with this scripture in our spirit. The Lord today, according to this word, according to the confidence we have in you, because you have lifted up your word above your name, the Lord break the unbreakable in my life. Move the immovable this day. Lord, change the unchangeable this day. Every decision that has gone against, against me, Father, turn the table around in my favor. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice this morning and pray and cry to the Lord. Father, move the immovable. Break the unbreakable. Everything, Lord, that I've been looking up to you for this day, bring them to pass according to your will. Not my will, according to your will, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Father in heaven, we adore you, we appreciate you. You are faithful and we trust in you. Thank you for giving us this word in your word that we can lay hold on. Thank you for you are faithful to do what you say you will do, even more than what we expect. Lord, we declare and decree in the name of Jesus that all we have has this morning, according to your will, Father, perform in Jesus' name. Let them turn to testimony in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody praise Jesus. And as we have 